Her death became a rallying cry against child abuse and neglect in our community. I don't know what excuse you could possibly have for doing this to another human being, much less your own child. But did coverage of her case compromise her parents' shot at a fair trial? And should that trial be moved out of Spokane? And good evening. Tonight, the man suspected of abusing his daughter to death doesn't want a Spokane jury to hear his case, and he's no longer in jail. Police say four-year-old Summer Phelps died after weeks of beatings and even torture at the hands of her father and stepmother. KXLY 4's Jeff Humphrey live at the courthouse where Jonathan Lytle is asking for a change of venue. Jeff? And Robin, change of venue requests are fairly common, but rarely do attorneys argue their motion with the help of more than 500 pages of evidence, as they did in this case. The counsel for defense points to publicity and a lot of it as to why Jonathan Lytle can't receive a fair trial here in Spokane. They argue that four-year-old Summer Phelps has become a poster child for abuse, and when prospective jurors see the little girl, they automatically think about alleged torture at the hands of her parents. The defense points to more than 300 newspaper and television news stories about Summer and how her death has become a focal point for KXY 4's Our Kids, Our Business campaign. In fact, police accounts of how the Lytles allegedly used shock collars and beatings to discipline Summer so alarmed Spokane that reports of possible child abuse tripled here after their arrest. Attorneys say that is another sign that subconsciously we've already convicted the Lytles and why their trial has to be moved. Meanwhile, Jonathan Jonathan Lytle has been transported from the Spokane County Jail to Eastern State Hospital where his mental health is being evaluated. The defense is hoping that doctors will find that Lytle was too mentally ill to know that abusing Summer could lead to her death. It is a hard thing to prove uh, because in effect the law requires, as I understand it, intention as one element of the commission of a crime. Uh, the argument has been that certain mental states prohibit the individual's ability to develop intention. Now the defense has already suggested that Jonathan Lytle could be mentally retarded and that's certainly a mental state that could keep him from forming intent. That is another question that is going to be answered out at Eastern State Hospital this week. Look for that motion to change venue in Mr. Lytle's case to be argued here at the courthouse in May. Reporting in Spokane, Jeff Humphrey, KXLY4. And as Jeff said, Summer Phelps' death is one of the reasons for the Our Kids, Our Business campaign. All month long, we're teaming up with other Spokane media to call attention to child abuse and neglect in our area. Tonight, another survey that highlights just how important this issue is. 400 Spokane and Kootenai County adults were asked if they believe the community should spend more money to help reduce child abuse and neglect. 60% agreed. We also asked if those adults would be willing to pay more in taxes to support such programs, and 58.5% said yes. We'll be asking more questions throughout the month. The pinwheels you've been seeing all around Spokane are the symbol of the Our Kids, Our Business campaign. They're meant to symbolize the innocence of children. Thousands have been placed outside government buildings and hospitals, including more than 2,700 at Sacred Heart, one for every child born there last year. If you want to get your own pinwheel, you can go to one of three, these three locations on April 12th, that is next Saturday, this Saturday actually. The pinwheels will be available at Jacob's Java on South Washington Street in Spokane, Zip's Drive-In on East Francis, and the Chuck E. Cheese on North Nevada Street. Again, they won't be available at these locations until Saturday, April 12th. If you want to get involved in the Our Kids, Our, Our Kids, Our Business campaign, it is very easy. Just go to KXLY.com and look under our special coverage section. You'll never miss a story by going to our website. KXOY.com.